Hello, it's James from xrobots.co.uk. A lot of people ask me, do I do YouTube full time? Do I have a day job? And now I can tell you I actually have a day job and I have had for the last 10 years. Been the last 10 years, it hasn't been very interesting. I've been working for an insurance company in IT. I've left that job and now I've got a job as a toy designer working for Blades Toys in the UK. Blades Toys is an international toy company, international distribution. It's also partially owned by Peter Jones, who you may know from American Inventor, and he's better known for Dragon's Den in the UK. And in fact, Blades Toys won his Tycoon TV series in 2007, which is how it all started and it's been going strong since. Blades Toys makes lots of products and they have licenses including Star Wars, Disney, VW and all sorts of others, so let's have a quick look at some of the products. Blades is quite well known for its range of jumbo inflatables, including Minions for the latest release of the new Minions film, Star Wars, including inflatable R2-D2s that have been on sale for a while, and a couple of others which we're going to take a look at in a moment. Various Disney products, the smallest VW camper van, including a holder shaped like a VW camper van, which is also the controller, and small micro radio controlled flying toys called Micropods, including quads, helicopters and boats. And Blades Toys also make a range of other flying toys, starting with very small ones and heading all the way up to rather larger indoor-outdoor flying toys. Blades also have their giant stun quad retailing at £99, which fires missiles and water and also has a camera option. My job at Blades Toys is Innovation Design Engineer, which means I do a lot of 3D printing and electronics and I build prototypes and come up with product concepts. I'm hoping to show you more of what I do in the future, but for now we're just going to unbox these toys and play with them. R2-D2's been on sale for about two years as a 27 MHz radio control product. It's now 2.4 GHz and comes with sounds. Darth Vader and Yoda are new products for July 2015, which will be available through Europe, Middle East, Africa, Australia and New Zealand. Each product now comes with a new Try Me button, which plays sounds when it's pressed. Inside the packaging you will find one set of instructions, one inflatable, one handset, one base drive unit with sounds and two stabiliser wheels. First of all we need to put batteries into the handset and the drive unit. Now the drive unit comes with two batteries in it for the try me function, but those need to be removed and used in a TV remote or something, and you need to put a set of four AA batteries in. The handset takes one 9 volt PP3 type battery and you'll need a small screwdriver to undo the screw to the hatches and do it up again to fit the batteries. At this stage, making sure the switch is in the centre position, you can test that everything is working. When you shake the base unit you should hear the sounds, and if you press and hold the forward switch on the remote, that will pair the remote with the base unit. And then you should be able to make the wheels turn to steer in all directions. The next thing to do is to fit the stabiliser wheels, which just clip on. And that should give you a base unit which you can drive around. Time to get pumping. I'm using a pump, but you could use your lungs. Using a pump is much quicker. Now the drive unit fits into this hole in the bottom of the inflatable, and these pegs go on two loops either side to hold it in. The drive unit is labelled with an arrow that says front, and that should be towards the front of the character, and sometimes it's easier to insert these before you've been fully inflated them, so this is still a bit soft, and we're just going to insert that in there and stick the pegs into the loops. Now my drive unit is inserted, I can continue to inflate the inflatable. Here they are, let's listen to those sounds before we go and drive them. The toys work well on most floor surfaces, including carpet.
on the smooth floors. And even on concrete and paving slabs. As these toys run on 2.4 GHz, there's no aerial on the handset, and you can also run up to 20 of the toys at once, all at the same time, without them interfering with each other. That's the end of this short demo. I'm hoping to be able to tell you more about my life at Blades Toys in the future, so watch this space.